Still waiting for the install at the moment. <coughs> Okay, so click next to that, and then I agree. Next, we're not going to install the update utility. This is mainly for gives you a little bit of a, a of an intro there, but it's mainly for upgrading ESX3 servers to ESX4. So I'm do install. And I'm going to pause there until the uh, next dialog box pops up. This is the error message that I wanted to show you. As you can see there, it says it's requiring .NET Framework version 3, Service Pack 1. In fact, it requires a few more files than that. Um, so I'm just going to show you um, what files they are and where to get them from. So here's are the links. The first one there is the full install of .NET version 3. The second one is the uh, install for .NET version 3 service pack 1. This is the uh, there's another XML dependency and this here is the install for um, version 3 service pack 1. So you've got here let's move that down actually. So you've got this one here is uh, .NET version 2 You've got that one as a dependency, XML dependency. You've got this one is .NET version 3, and then you've got the bottom one is .NET version 3 Service Pack 1. Uh, and I've already got those on my desktop here. And you can see they vary from about 50 meg for uh, .NET version 3 to uh, 24 meg for version 2 service pack 1 and then you've got version 3 service pack 1 and then you've got the XML dependency there so I'm just going to copy all of those and then put them on the vCenter desktop Create a new folder. I just call it depths for dependencies and whack it in there. Let's go through the install. You have to try and install these in order. So uh, .NET version two first, then um, the XML dependency. then version 3, then version 3 service pack 1. Again, the, the reason why I'm uh, getting that error message, you may not get it if you have an internet connected um, machine that's installing the VI client. Um, because it'll go off and get it automatically for you. However, if you don't, or if you're in a lab environment like me, um, you're going to need to grab these files. And once again, there are the, the links for the files as well. Okay, so I'm going to start um, installing this um, and I'll pause it uh, and I'll resume it when it comes up with something a little bit more interesting. Okay, so this is the first box that's popped up telling me that it successfully installed .NET version 2, Service Pack 1. Next thing to install is the, you'll see it in a second, it's an XML dependency. not very big, it's only about 3 meg. Okay, that's finished. The next thing is quite a big installation. This is .NET version 3. So I'm going to leave that like that until another box pops up. 
Okay, here's the next stage. So .NET Framework has been installed successfully. Now I've got to install the Service Pack 1. Again, I'm going to pause this and resume when it's finished. Okay, so now Service Pack 1 has been installed. So we've installed Service Pack, uh, sorry, .NET version 2 Service Pack 1, then we installed the XML dependency, then we installed .NET version 3, .NET version 3 Service Pack 1, and now let's try the VI client and see if it works. Okay, so click next on that. We're not going to install the host update utility. Okay, and now the install is going to go through successfully. Again, I'm going to uh, pause it until we get to the next bit. Okay, so the installation is now completed successfully. Now let's use the vSphere client to connect to one of the servers. That is the username and password that, well, the username you didn't define, but the password you defined in the um, ESX server setup. It's also the same one that you'll probably use here. If you do Alt and F1 and then sign in, you'll see that the username you just used there um, was the same username you're using in the uh, VI client. Okay, install and then ignore. That's the same sort of um, message you get when you um, first connect to a web server that's got an untrusted security certificate. Always takes a little bit longer than normal the first time around. <coughs> Here we go, we're getting there now. So you can, this is the evaluation version. And there we go, there's us successfully installed ESX server and the VI client. You can see here is some information about the server. No virtual machines obviously. And it's also very boring at the moment. Okay, so um, that's the uh, part one onto part two where I'm going to be setting up ESX Server 2, uh, VMware uh, Virtual Center Server or vCenter Server and then setting up OpenFiler.